Hi, Mario. Good evening. Hello. Uh, Hi, Mario. How are you? ¿Qué tal? Uh, I have one problem in the internet. You have a problem with the internet. What's going on? ¿Qué pasa? Yes. What's going on? What is the but, problem? But signal. Ah, ah, okay. I see, Mario. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm, si me escuchas, me avisas cuando ya tenga, si tengas una mejor conexión. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hi, Nelson, Alberto. Hello, Rafa. Okay. Hi, Marisa. Hello, good evening. How are you? ¿Qué tal el fin de? Did you have a good time? Hi. Hello. Very relaxed. Yeah. You did. Good. ¿No le tocó trabajar, Alberto? No. Ah, okay. Congratulations. Sí, durmió bastante el viernes. Pues ni tanto porque viajé para la Unión y, bueno, de hecho que aprendí a manejar lo que es rastra. That's nice. Ya me lo imagino sí, ahí la... en la rastra. Sí, ese... Es un gran monstruo, Pero... right? It's a big monster. Sí. Yes. Pero sí lo disfruté en realidad. Ah, ok. That's nice. Sí, me imagino. Como un caballo eléctrico. Ok, that's cool. En Rafa, what about you? What did you do? Ah, no se le escucha, Rafa. Yeah. Otra vez tenemos problemas con el micrófono. Hola, hola. Ahora sí. Ok, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. ah, me tocó trabajar el fin de semana. Ah, ok. ¿Y cuándo Uy. le toca qué hacerlo? Hay un fin de semana no. en específico. Mm, no, no. Cada seis meses o cada tres meses. Ah, ok. Es nada. Sí, es por mantenimiento nada más. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Uh -huh. What is the name of the company where you work? MSL Brasil. Ah, ok. Got it. Well, I'm sorry. Did you work on Saturday and Sunday? ¿Trabajó los dos días? On Saturday and Sunday? Yes. Ah, wow. Ok, <laughs> but you have. Uh, September 15th, I imagine. Pero si sí le van a dar el 15. Sí, el 15, sí. De okay. okay, so ya solo falta un día. Just one more day, <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, um, I'm going to take the attendance and then we, we will have an activity to start the class. So we start with Daisy Yesenia, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, Jose Mario. Y Katia Gabriela, Lisette del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Okay. okay, and then we continue with Rafael Antonio. Present. Okay, René Guarda. Rina Espinosa. Present. <laughs> okay, thank you. And then Rosy Melendez. Present. Hi, Rosy, okay. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Cepeda. Present. Thank you. And Zulma Lorena. Okay, so we start. We are going to start practicing would like to. Vamos a comenzar practicando would like to. We're going to start practicing would like to. Teacher, okay. can you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear you, Albert. No me mencionó, me escuché mi nombre. Pero... Sí lo mencioné, quizás, ajá, quizás ah, no me escuché. Vale. Pero lo voy a Un agregar acá. Ah, ajá. Okay. Thank you. Don't worry. Sí, todavía me quedé esperándolo un ratito y no lo vi en la pantalla. No sé qué, no sé. Ok. Ok, pero ya está arreglado. 
Okay, so I'm going to, I have here a dice. I have a dice, tengo un dado, uh, an electronic dice. If you tell me the number that is on the dice, no question. Si ustedes me dicen el número, adivinan el número, no question. If you tell me the number of the dice, no question. But if you are wrong, you are going to receive a question. Pero si se equivocan, sí. But if you're wrong, you're going to have a question. Okay, so, Rosie, what do you think will be the number? ¿Cuál cree que va a ser el número que va a salir? What will be the number? Mm. Hey. From one to six, del uno al six. From del uno al six. Mm -hmm. mm. Four. Let's see. Wait. One. Number one. Okay, Rosie. Tell me two sentences you think would like to. Dos oraciones utilizando would like to. Utilizando lo que vimos el viernes. No me recuerdo si fue viernes o jueves, but yes. Mm -hmm. Using would like to. Um, Do you guys a... still remember? ¿Se recuerdan qué significaba? Would like to. Sí, es, es cuando dijimos would like to visit New York. Algo así, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, it's like want. But it, <laughs> we usually use it or especially with requests or offers. Ok, Rosy, le dejo ahorita ahí para que piense y, y lo mande en el chat. Your sentences. Ok, okay so now let's continue with Jani. What do you think will be the next number, Jani? ¿Cuál cree que va a ser el siguiente number? Cri. Six. No. No. <laughs> number six. Ok, tell me something that you would like to do tomorrow. Tell me something you would like to do tomorrow. Um, ¿Tengo que contestarle eso o hacer la oración? Ajá, sí, contestarme eso. Tell me something, dígame algo. Tell me something. Y luego le digo, you would like to do tomorrow. ¿Qué cree que le estoy preguntando? ¿Qué, qué voy a hacer mañana? Como que quisiera. Hacer mañana. Me gustaría. Ajá. Ah. Oh. I would like beach. I would like to go. To, to go beach. beach. Okay. I would like to go. The beach. To the beach. To the beach. Uh-huh. Okay, Jenny. Thank you. Katia, what will be the next number? Guess the next number. Two. Two. Yes, okay, Katia, correct. Okay, Maricela. Or Rafa. Um, four. Five. No, number five. Okay, Rafa. Tell me two sentences you seen would like to. Um My co-workers will not like to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Number two. Um, I would like to watch TV on Correct. the night. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good, Rafa. Thank you. Alberto, your turn. Guess the next number. Number four. No, <laughs> number three. Okay, what 
would you like to do on Saturday morning? Uh, well, I, I would like to drink uh, milk with, with coffee, coffee with milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sounds good. And some one, some one cookie. And cookies. Mm. Yes. Like your breakfast or like a dessert breakfast. after breakfast. After. After breakfast. Como que fuera yes. un postre. The dessert. Yes. Cookies and and, chop, and coffee. Coffee with milk. Yes. It sounds like a good, good combination. <laughs> because it's very delicious. Yes, it is. I drink coffee every morning. Only, only I, I would like, I would like to to eat, yeah, three cook. <laughs> three cookies. Okay, <laughs> yeah. very specific. <laughs> okay, thank you, Alberto. Let's continue okay. with Maricela. Do you hear me, Maris Maricela? <laughs> Hi, Maricela. Ah, okay. Yes, ok. Si quieres, bueno, me avisa cuando ya termine de comer. ¿No? no ok. No, ahorita. Ok, so, please tell me what do you think would be the next number? Um, two? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. it, it was correct. So, no question, Maricela. Thank okay. you. And Mario, do you hear me? Are you there, Mario? Okay. Yes. What do you think will be the next number? Five. Yes. No. Solo creo con el two funcionó. Okay, so Mario, would you like to work tomorrow? Would you like to work tomorrow? Uh, Mario? I would like to eat enchiladas in the morning. But the question is, it was a question, Mario. Era, era una pregunta. Porque le di vuelta al would con el sujeto. Eso fue lo que dije. Would you like to work? Tomorrow. ¿Qué crees que estoy preguntando acá? No sé si me escuchas, Mario. Ah, perdón, perdón. Eh, ¿Qué lo crees que entendí que... es que, ¿Qué me gustaría hacer en el trabajo mañana o no? Ah, no. Es si trabajo? quisieras, no. Con wood es como si ah, quisieras. Que Ajá. Mañana. Ajá, it's yes or no. No. <laughs> I imagine that was going to be the answer. Me imaginé que esa iba a ser la respuesta. <laughs> okay, so you can say no. I, you can say no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Okay, thank you, Mario, and thank you, everyone. So that can also help us to refresh. Eso también nos ayuda a refrescar un poquito, ¿verdad? Lo que vimos last week. By the way, remember that we finish uh, this section on Thursday. Thursday, porque no hay clase de miércoles. Entonces, recuérdense del examen que hay que hacer, the final test. Y de terminar su homework, please. Por cierto, quizás lo voy a recordar después también. Mañana van a recibir ya el email que, no sé si, no, creo que es por WhatsApp. Eh, la información para la survey, para llenar la um, encuesta de Insafor. Se recuerdan de no llenarla, ¿verdad? Porque siempre es el mismo proceso que en el primer módulo. Se llena acá. Y tenemos que hacerlo todos juntos, pero mañana lo van a estar recibiendo. 
Um, okay, Nelson, do you have a comment? Nelson Alberto. Sí, por ejemplo, en mi caso, eh, con el número que estoy registrado, ya no existe, lo perdí hace un par de días. En este ah. caso, tengo que llamar a tengo que llamar a inglés corporativo para que me eh, como que uh -huh. me remodifiquen el otro número. Sí, porque no sé la verdad si está su información actualizada. Hace poco cambió su número. Mm, sí, quizás hace una semana. De hecho, ah, que vaya. tuve un pequeño sí. eh, pequeño problemita, entonces uh -huh. por ende tuve que cambiarlo. Ah, ok. Sí, Alberto, contacte ahí este, a inglés corporativo. Y ya para okay. que ahí ellos le envíen su, su encuesta y la información a su número, ¿verdad? Si no, quizás no va a llegar. Porque me imagino que de está desactivado su número. Ok, so we will... Thank ok, you. Nelson, you're welcome. We will continue here. Today the class is about this. It's about how to fill out a complaint form. Fill out, it means... To complete, fill out. Fill out es lo mismo que complete. Es, es como un phrasal verb, se llama. Más adelante los van a estudiar. Son como un verbo con una preposición que se convierten en otro significado. So fill out is how to complete a complaint form. Complaint es queja. Es como una forma que se llena cuando hay una queja, ¿verdad? That is what we are going to study. ¿Cómo se, se llenarían? Or the process. That is the objective. Ese será el objetivo de esta clase. And we start here. Okay, we start talking about that a little bit. Okay, so Rafa, do you ever complain about broken items at work? Rafa entiende esa pregunta. Do you ever complain? No. ¿Cómo la entiende? No. Ok. Do you, es, ever... do you ever? Se recuerda que do you ever es como how often. Como otra manera de, de decir how uh -huh. often. Complain es, es lo opuesto a satisfaction, a estar satisfecho que sería como, como quejarse por un mal servicio. Uh -huh. So, how often do you complain about broken items? For broken items son como cosas que estén quebradas o así. So, the question uh -huh. is, do you ever complain about items at work? Sería se como a menudo se quejan uh -huh. por cosas arruinadas. Como qué tan a menudo usted Ajá. se queja por, por problemas así en su trabajo. Ah, ya. No, al contrario, ¿eh? se quejan conmigo. Ajá, that is what I imagine. <risa> Customers complain. Ok, so let's, let's change the question. How often uh, do customers complain about broken items in your company? Every day. Every day. Wow, <laughs> that is very often. And are they angry or are they okay with a normal reaction? Um, okay, normally. <laughs> ah, okay, that's nice. Okay, and question number two. Do they, the customers, ever complete a complaint form? Do they have to do that? ¿Hacen eso ellos? Eh, sí, en algunos casos. Ah, okay. Hay otros so, que no. Ajá, eh. uh -huh, it's not uh -huh. necessary. Ok, so yes. you can say in some cases. In some sometimes, cases. in some cases. Uh -huh. okay. ok, Rafa, thank you. What about you, Rosy? Do you ever complain? about broken items at work? Every day, a okay. cada momento. You or customers? Usted o los clientes? Eh, los clientes, los compañeros, 
todos. Guay. Ay, Rosy. Por, por, bueno, por, por mi tipo de trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que me mantengo en el supermercado, que a menudo se quiebran cosas y hay que pagarlas y hay que ver qué pasó. Entonces, eso es de todos los días. Ay, it's a normal activity at work. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. And do they have to complete a form? When that happens? No. And what is the process in that case? Yeah, al gerente. Mandarlo uh, a gerencia. You, ah, okay. It's like they uh -huh. go to the supervisor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 Ah, about broken items, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, no. No, 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 no. No pasa en el trabajo, no hay queja por parte de los clientes ni de nosotros. O sea, no, no lleno ningún tipo de queja. No. Ni nos hacen tampoco. Ah, uh -huh. oh, ok. That's nice, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> And Katia, what about your case? I don't. You don't feel, you don't complain about that no. at work? No. No. Oh, ok. Ninguna de las dos opciones. <laughs> ok. You can say none. None no. of the options. Okay, all right, that's nice. Maricela, I imagine that is the same. Me imagino que es lo mismo con Maricela. Yes, igual. The same, right? Because you work in the same place. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's practice now with the role play to practice the pronunciation. Okay, so please listen carefully so you can listen the way we have to pronounce the words. We have Mike and Maria. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that, please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now it will be your turn. So let's begin with Alberto. You're going to be Mike and Mario. You're going to be Maria. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Choa and I need to feel a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in, in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you guys. I'm just going to help you with one word. Besides that, the pronunciation was very well. Okay, the one you see is file. That is the pronunciation. File a complaint. Complaint. Can you say it again, Mario? File a complaint. File a complaint. Mm -hmm. Nelson, Alberto, please thank repeat. File a complaint. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Rafa and Rosy. Rafa, you'll be Mike and Rosy, Maria. 
Thank you for calling the IT department. Uh, Rosie. Sorry. Oh, okay. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and I didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Rafa, and thank you, Rosie. Just this word, again, it is file, file. Can you say it again? Uh, let's file. begin with Rosie, file. File. Mm -hmm. And Rafa? File. File, yes. File. This is a word that you see a lot, right? I imagine with computers, it appears a lot, file. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Jani. Jani and Maricela. You start, Jani. Your mic. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you for calling the e IT. IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need the file that complain about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to hear that, please. Uh, Distract distra the problem. It was very, very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn up today. Let me see someone, someone. Wow, a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, thank you, Jenny and Maricela. I'm just okay. going to help you with some words, the one that you see I highlighted. This one is department. Yes. Department. Mm -hmm. Department. 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 Here. 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 Mm -hmm. Here. Describe. 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 Mm -hmm. Describe. Okay. Describe. Okay. Thank you, Jenny and Maricela. And lastly, oh. Katia and Renee. Katia, you are Maria and Rene Mike. Uh, good evening, everyone. Hi, yes, Rene. Welcome. You. Okay. So let's see. Um, thanks you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, please describe me the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, good pronunciation. Everything was perfect. So guys, do you have questions about the vocabulary in this conversation? Is there something I can help you with? Uh, sure. I don't know, remember complaint. Com complaint. Queja. Mm -hmm. O reclamo. That's the meaning. Okay, Maricela. And yes, Rafa, what is your question? Cuando Mike dice que enviará la queja y enviará, we can send a new computer in no time. 
y no, uh, ahí tengo duda porque es no. Imagine that this is a phrase, an idiomatic uh -huh. phrase to say that it's going to be fast, very soon. It's, it's like, imagine that for us is un dicho. So mm -hmm. it's, it's something like that in English, in no time, okay. Okay. as soon as possible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else that I could help you with, everyone? No. Tal vez didn't, uh -huh. didn't, uh, did. Aha. Uh -huh. the, uh, the meaning. The meaning. Ah, okay. This is Porque imagine. De, de hacer es, ¿verdad? O... Uh, it is an auxiliary, Katia, that we use in past tense. It, it indicates past. It's like do or don't and doesn't, they indicate present. But when we use didn't, it indicates past. Like if I say, mm -hmm. I don't eat pupusas, present tense. But if I say, I didn't eat pupusas yesterday, I'm talking about an activity of yesterday. So it's okay. something that we use in the past. Okay, so let's let's continue with the questions we have here. Comprehension questions. Question number one. Okay, we will begin with Rafa. What expressions does Mike use to show a solution in progress? What is the expression Mike used to show a solution. We can send a new computer in no time. Mm, in no time. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is the expression oh. to send the computer in in no time to show a solution. Babe. And there is one, I have Babe. one more. It send send with a complaint form. Mm -hmm to send someone with a complaint form. Okay, Rafa, thank you. And then we have question number two. Rosie, what seems to be the problem with the computer? What do you think is the problem, Rosie, with the computer? There are two uh, possible answers. Que very slow. Mm -hmm. And well, there are two. There's another problem we can mention. Do you see it, Maricela? The other problem with the computer? Mm -hmm. About my word terminal. Mm, no. No, Maricela. It's not that. Uh, it was very slow yesterday. And uh -huh. it didn't pour on today. Correct. Yes. Thank you, Maria. So yesterday, the speed, the computer was slow. And today, is not turning on, okay, it's not turning on. So that's the problem. Okay, so remember we are talking about complaints and we are going to work in groups of three in this moment, okay? Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. We're going to work in groups of three. What do you have to do? Okay, you have to think about three objects, 
three objects that we usually fi uh, file a complaint. Okay, you have to, for example, select an object and then mentions reasons why people file a complaint form. Van a escoger tres objetos por los que las personas comúnmente reclaman and the reasons why y las razones por las que lo hacen. I'll give you a common example. Cell phones. Cell phones. Teléfonos. Ese es el object. Muchas personas reclaman o se quejan about phones. Reasons why. ¿Por qué alguien? Why will someone file a complaint form? ¿Por qué creen que querrían hacer un reclamo? Llenar una hoja de reclamos. Can you tell me a reason why? Because the signal is very bad. Aha, uh -huh. it has no reception. Correct. Another possibility. I have these ideas. It doesn't charge. It doesn't make calls. It doesn't, the phone doesn't turn on. Okay, eso es lo que ustedes tienen que hacer. That is what you have to do. Okay, choose three objects. Escogen tres objetos. And the reasons why people file a complaint form. Menos cell phone porque este ya lo agarré yo. Okay, so that one doesn't count. <laughs> so think about other ones. Do you have a question? It's, it's under, understood, clear. Okay, so three objects, three reasons. Three objects, three reasons, groups of three. Everything is going to be a multiple of three. Okay, so let me create the rooms. Hi, Nelson, welcome. Hello, Rina. Welcome to the class. Nice to see you. ¿Qué tal sigue su pie, Rina? Better? Ay, so, so. <laughs> sí, descansó el fin de semana. Un poco. <laughs> Aquí, pero siempre me, me duele. I'm sorry to hear that. Sí, toma tiempo, me imagino. Para sí. sanar totalmente. Ok, well, ya ahí va a ir mejorando. But nice to have you over here, Rina. You're going to be working with Marce. Hello, by the way, Marce and Alberto. They are going to be your partners, Rina. And Mario, you're going to work with Jani and Katia. Then in the next group, we will have Marisela, Rafa, and René. And in the last group, we will have Nelson René and Rosy Melendez. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. ¿Creen que salen con five minutes? Tres y tres razones. Or maybe more time. Bueno, veamos con five minutes. Y si no, les doy más tiempo.
Eso sí, no me fijé qué página era. Para ubicarme. Bueno, ahí está la teacher. Quizás ella le puede explicar mejor. Teacher. No, ayuda ahí, please, porque sí, tengo entrando. Ay, no, tengo la duda con cuando... la indicación. No, no, no mucho. Ok, estamos practicando. ¿Cómo, cómo estamos aprendiendo en esta clase sobre cómo llenar reclamos en inglés? Cuando algo sale defectuoso, un objeto que compra no, no funciona bien y se, se reclama, ¿verdad? Se hace un reclamo. Entonces la clase es de eso. Eso hemos estado trabajando. Ahora, la indicación de esta actividad que están haciendo es que ustedes piensen en tres objetos que las personas usualmente quieren devolver o por las cuales ellas reclaman. Y yo les daba el ejemplo de los teléfonos. Entonces ese sería un objeto del teléfono. Y después tienen que mencionar tres razones por las que las personas reclaman. Entonces ahí les mencionaba que pueden reclamar quizás porque el teléfono no tiene señal, porque no hace llamadas o quizás hacen un reclamo porque no carga. Entonces usted y Rosy van a pensar en tres objetos, excepto el del teléfono, y van a decir tres razones por las que alguien puede hacer un reclamo. Puede empezar si es en su y, trabajo. Yes. Si, si pusiera, bueno, yo por ejemplo, si, si un cliente reclama por un juguete que está quebrado, ¿Cómo lo diría? Podría ser. Saber? Ajá, sí. ajá, ajá. Podría ser toys. Entonces, está quebrado. The toy sería así. The toy is broken. Eso es de que está quebrado. Así que, ajá, así eso sería. es lo que tiene pero, que ser. Pero así sería, ¿verdad? Yes. Three objects, okay. tres okay. objetos, tres razones por las que alguien haría mm. un reclamo. ¿Tres razones por objeto o una ah. por cada uno? Tres por objeto. Son tres ah, okay. objetos, tres razones okay. por cada uno. Ah, okay. Okay. Se supone que voy, en dos sí. minutos volvemos, pero voy a ir a ver cómo van los demás. Okay. <risa> 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 pero eso es lo que yo creo que hoy sí ya, ¿verdad? Ya entienden sí. cómo. Sí, hoy sí. Sí, sí, hoy sí. Bye. Gracias. Hello, how are you doing? Here, step by step. Ah, ok. Are you ready? Se supone que en unos segundos volvemos. Ustedes ya terminaron. Sí, sí. Solo llevamos dos. Ah, ok. Example, bueno, llevan uh, más que el grupo que acabo de visitar, así que sí. Por ejemplo, el número uno es el motorcycle. It doesn't change battery. It doesn't turn on the, in the morning. It doesn't faster. Uh, it's not fast. It's not fast. Aha. Uh -huh. It's that. It's that. It's, it's, it's that. Not. With N. Oh, uh, okay. uh -huh. Let me send it in, in the chat. It's. It's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Faster. Don't it's, use uh, auxiliar do. No. No. With, no, because you're describing the okay. motorcycle. Okay. Okay, let me check with the other groups and then I'll send your request to go back. Okay, okay. do you have questions for me before I, I leave the room? Not yet. No, okay. No. All right, you can continue. I'll visit another room. Bye. Oh. Losses, losses volume. Los volume, ajá. ajá. Los volume. volume dice pierde volumen. Entonces, si le dejo mejor, va a y das en. Siempre le dejo switch. Los en volumen. Pero, no, no, es que, es que para, digamos, armar la oración, si es si doesn't, solo sería it doesn't switch the volume, dando a referirse de que no cambia el volumen. Pero mm. si. Ajá. Y el volumen solo sería si. It, it does. Uh, las es volume. Las. Y creo que sería. It does la volume. O. Das la. Vamos a ver. ¿Cómo sería? Sería. Ah, espérate. 
Sí, el. Sí, los en da bolón sería. Los, los, los da bolón. Los de bolón. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hi, Hi, guys. Luz. Sorry to interrupt. How are you doing? Uh, How many do you have? Eh, pues estamos trabajando una cada uno. Ahí. Ah, ok. It's a o good era... idea. Uh -huh. Ajá. No, you could divide the, the, sí, es que el, the me está ayudando a mí ahorita. Ah, ah, ok, that's nice. Estábamos haciendo ahorita el del televisión. Ah, eh, Por sample, estábamos en el donde se reportar que se le quita o pierde el volumen el televisor. Mm -hmm. Eso me decía y que decía, it doesn't lose the volume. It, it loses. Uh -huh. It, it loses. loses. The you volume. The volume. Y lo otro que le hemos puesto es it doesn't turn on. Que no enciende. Pero lo otro es. Luces es L-O-S-E-S. Luces. Luces sería. Yes. Ok. Ok, cool. So, how many do you have in this moment, Maricela? Do you have all of them? Ya, ya están todas, ya tienen todas. No, solo hemos hecho una y le hemos hecho tres. Ah, ok, escogen el object y luego, luego ponen Ajá. una. Por... Okay. ok, voy a ir a ver cómo van los otros teams. Yo creo que en, en two minutes volvemos, okay, okay. pero traten okay. de hacer las, las más que puedan si no llegan a las que son. Okay, Hello, see you. Okay, uh -huh. is, is con, it doesn't or it does or como es la estructura? It depends. Buscando? It depends. Is there's no structure that is the the oh, one you the mandatory one. It depends on what you want to say, Rene. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I just want you to tell me the reasons and it's it's up to you. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, any other questions before I go? No. No. Okay. No. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi, Katia. How are you doing? ¿Qué tal vamos por acá? Uh, la de terminar. ¿Eh? Ah, okay. Excellent. Sí, ya ni, ya ni la terminó yo también, pero no le he preguntado a Mario. ¿Qué tal vas, Mario? Mm, ya tengo dos razones. Ah, ok. It's good enough. Ya podemos. Una. Ok, cool. Vamos a volver ya entonces a, al main room. En about one minute. Los voy a dejar aquí un poquito más si necesitan. Y nos vemos okay. allá en un minuto. Ok, see you. All right. Hello, Marce. ¿Qué pasó? Ay, sí, ¿Ya sí. terminaron? No, pero no sé de lo que estaban hablando. Yo creo que los compañeros no, no supieron que estaba ahí porque yo hablé y no, no me contesté. <risa> Ay, lo lamento. ¿Y entonces trabajaste sola? ¿O no, ya no? No sé de lo que estaban hablando. Sí, sí. Ah, ibas conectándote cuando pasó todo. Sí, cuando te mm. dijo... De a mandar yo conectando que me iba. Iba a esperar que empezaran a hablar más y mejor para entender de qué estaban hablando. Pero justamente los mandó a la sala. Ah, ok, sorry. Hubieras, no llegué a su room, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo oh, sí. no? Pero, sí. Pero yo pensé que mi micrófono no servía. Ah, ah ok. Ok, Marcia. Don't worry in that case. It's, it's all right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Okay, I hope you, you finish. So let's begin with the first team. Team number one. Let me see. Okay. Rina, Marce, and Nelson. So Rina and, and Nelson Alberto. No sé si van a decirla una por uno o lo van a dividir o alguien va a decir todas. How are you going? Rina, Rina, eh, si voy a decir la de la impresora. Yes. Ah, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, it does turns doesn't turns off turns on. It drives up the bills. Bikes. It printer freezes. The the printer printer freezes. freezes. Se queda congelada. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuál era la segunda? Sorry. Es eh, the motorcycle. It doesn't change the battery. It doesn't turn on in the morning. It's not faster. Mm -hmm. Yes, that those are the ones you told me, right? Son las que arreglamos ahí. Solo sería fast. fast. Instead of faster, okay. fast. Okay. okay. But they are good. Just, Rina, the second one, la segunda que mencionó, Rina, about uh, the printer. It's rip, rip or ripes, no, oops, rip, 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 the rip. bills. What do you mean? Que rompe las facturas. Ah, uh, it rapes. Mm -hmm. Can you send it to me Break by chat? The, the verb, please. Ahí me lo envían, solo quiero ver la, the, the spelling of it. Okay. And, and do you have number three? Tienen el tercer. Uh, not, not teacher. No, only two. No. Yes. Okay. All right. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you, Rina. Thank you, Alberto. Okay. It's okay. Let's continue with Mario, Katia, and Jani. Yo empiezo. Uh, escogí printer y esta sería. Is out of ink mm -hmm. as jammed paper. Doesn't work since yesterday. It doesn't work since yesterday. Okay. Thank you, Katia. Who is next? I continue. Hmm? Mm, my router in of internet. Uh -huh. Is out of internet? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't know signal. It doesn't uh, have. Uh, I doesn't know signal. Uh, I doesn't know car on. Uh, I doesn't know the stable. Okay, Mario, thank you. Just one change. Don't use I. No I, only it. It doesn't, and then you mentioned the problem. Okay. Solo vamos a quitar el I. Yes, Jani, continue. Okay, uh, yo escogí computer. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't overhead. Overhead. And um, two, internet is down. Uh, sometimes it's turned off. Ok, Jani, thank you. Just the first one. La primera quizás quiere decir que se calienta, right? Sí, overheat. Heat, overheat. Overheat. Ajá, uh it -huh. overheats or overheating. It, uh, Because okay. if you say it doesn't, it's a negative sentence. Si usted le pone el doesn't, dice que no, se calienta. Pero aquí sí queremos decir que, que se caliente. Uh -huh, Soy uh -huh, uh -huh. overheat. Uh -huh. Ok, Jani. Thank you. Okay. Let's continue with Marisela, Rafa, and René. Who goes first? Uh, comienzo yo. Ok. En la televisión solo hicimos tres. Atas uh, uh -huh. signal. Y It doesn't signal, perdón. Doesn't it have. Doesn't, uh -huh, doesn't have to on. Y it doesn't lose, loses the volume. It loses the volume. Loses, mm -hmm. loses the volume. Yes. Okay. Ahí Rafa hizo the, las otras. Uh -huh. The oh. first one, Marisela, it doesn't have. That's, that's the first one. It doesn't have. It doesn't have. 
Ajá, creo que el hat no se lo puso en, el, en la primera. No. Ajá. Yo sabía. En, en la segunda está bien. Y está sentor up. Turn, turn on. Or off. Ajá, turn on. Turn yeah. on. Yes, that one is correct. Okay, the three, number three is it doesn't lose, loses, lose it, dijo. Lose the volume. Loses the volume. No, doesn't. Okay. okay. We don't need it there. Thank you. Uh -huh. Rafa or Rene? Rafa. Okay, Rafa, continue. Uh, the print, the, the paper jams. The printer to all when send print the file. The printer prints strikes. Okay, Rafa, thank you. Can you send to me the last one, please, Rafa? I just want to see the way you, you write it down. You wrote it down. Send it by chat, the last one. Solo envíame la última, please. Okay, and Rene? Can you continue, please? All right, the, the one that I choose was the cell phone. Um, the first one is, it doesn't make calls. Uh, the second one is, uh, it doesn't turn on. And it doesn't connect to the internet. Okay, Rene, thank you. Just one comment. You can say the one that I chose because it will be in past tense. And choose will be the, the base form. Choose? Okay, choose present tense. The one that I chose in this case. Doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I, maybe I got lost on that. Uh, yes, you said that the one that, that I choose is the phone. The, but the cell phone. Aha, uh -huh, the cell phone. But instead of saying choose, Change the form of the oh. verb. Uh -huh. The one that I chose. I chose the one was. that I chose was the cell phone. The one uh -huh. that I chose. Or you can say the one I have if you want to say it in present tense. Chose. Mm -hmm. But okay. with choose, just I chose the phone. I chose the phone. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. All Thank right. You. Thank you. And now Nelson and Rossi. <coughs> Nelson. Or Rosie, who goes first? Eh, bueno, yo escogí drinks. Ajá. Eh, solo que esta no sé si está bien y me corrige. Uh -huh. It's warm. It's warm. De que está caliente. Uh -huh. De que está para Como decir de que la bebida. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Que no está helada. Por eso. Ajá. Los clientes. Thank sí. You. Ok. Este, this is spirit. Ajá. The soda eh, is, or the drink is uh -huh. inspired. Mm -hmm. Ajá. There is none of the flavor they are looking for. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are correct. And okay. do you have another one? Or Nelson, do you continue? No sé si Nelson va a decir otra. Habíamos escrito como que nos pusimos de acuerdo con los otros grupos printer. The printer, ok. Eh, sí, the printer. Eh, Ajá. Jam the paper. Jam the paper. Eh, it doesn't turn on. Eh, doesn't print in color. Uh -huh. esas tres. That's it. Ok. Sí. Do you have the third one? Eh, Yes, you have computer sí. too. And computer, it is very slow. Mm -hmm. Only that reason. Solo esa Only, razón sí. tiene. Solamente ok, eso, sí. ya no les alcanzó el tiempo. Okay. Para okay. las otras. <laughs> ok, but thank you, Nelson. They are correct. Now let's continue with the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance and then we continue with the second part of the class. Daisy, Yesenia. 
It is Joanna, Jennifer Marcela, present. Katia Gabriela, present. Okay. Lisette del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen, present. Okay. Thank you. Nehemías Regalo, Nelson Alberto, present teacher. Okay. Nelson René. Present. Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Ah, ok, thank you. René Guardado. Present. Rina. Present, teacher. Rosy Meléndez. Present. Ok, Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Lisset. Present. Ok. En Zulma Lorena. Ok. Now that we're done, let's continue. In this Sorry, moment. Teacher. No, me mencionó, no creo. No. Present. De verdad. Ok. <laughs> Sorry. Ok. Let me add you here. Thank you. Now I'm going to share with you something here. This is a picture of a complaint form. Okay, that's what it is. This is a complaint form. Okay, so this is just for you to see the different aspects that a complaint form needs. Eso es para que ustedes tengan una idea de las partes que una forma de estas necesita, complaint form. Okay, so what do we need? We need, first of all, the return, return address. The place where this is going back, para el lugar que va de regreso. Okay, so we have the return address over here. Point number two, we add the date. We need the date of this form. Like in this case, if we do it today, it will be September 13, as an example. September 13. And then you need this. The salutation, como el saludo. Dear sir, or madam or ma'am. And then if you have it, you can add the order info. Si ustedes tienen como un código que se les dio al comprar algo, we put it. Later, the next part, we have the body of the complaint. Ya luego va como el cuerpo de, de esta aplicación. Here, you can say when you got it. Aquí podemos decir cuando lo compramos. Here you can say when you got it. And the problem, if you want to, I'm going to put it here. Okay, so mention the date you got the item. And also mention the problem. Mention the problem of the item. And number three, mention what you need from the company. Estas serían como las tres partes principales que irían en el cuerpo, en el cuerpo de su form. Que okay, cuando lo adquirimos, where online or on the store, mention the problem, and then mention what you need from the company. Si ustedes quieren que les devuelvan el dinero, if you need the warranty, si quieren un replacement, si quieren un reemplazo, you mention what you want. Ahí ustedes mencionan qué es lo que quieren de la compañía. And then the last part, 
is your name, closing. You mentioned your name. This is like a basic, like a basic complaint form. Okay, so again, we put the address of the place where it's going back. You mentioned the date. Oh, and sorry, I missed this. The company address too. And then you mentioned salutation, order info, the body where you put the date, you got it, the problem of the item, and what you need from the company. If you need a replacement, if you want your money back, or if you need something else, you can say it. And at the end, your name. Those are the parts that we usually need. Esas son las partes principales que puede llevar su, su form. Do you have a question? Um, maybe not for the, the form itself, uh -huh. but uh, there is one um, word over there that I would like mm -hmm. to, 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 Which to know. One? Um, in the second, uh, la, en, el sec, en el segundo párrafo, al final dice, the unit is faulty. Mm -hmm. Defectuoso. That is what, what it means. It presents it imperfections. Faulty. 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 Uh -huh, the one you see here, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, sorry yeah. about the image. It's blurry. I would have loved yeah. to show it to you the right way, but I couldn't. Couldn't get it better. Mm -hmm. But right. that's the one. Faulty. Oh, and I don't okay. know if you can really see it, but it will be like this. That will yeah. be the spelling. Faulty. That's mm -hmm. the way that we pronounce it. Okay. Faulty. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Nice. Got it. Thank you. All right. Is there anything else, guys, that you may need? Do you have questions about how to create the form, the complaint form? That you would like to ask? No? Rafa, questions? Katia? Alberto? No. Okay. So, no so going back, per perfect. Okay, so going back here, now it will be your turn. Okay. Here you have the complaint form and you have to complete it. Okay, this one is very similar. It has some slightly changes. Tiene poquitos así variados uh, cambios. And here you have to complete it with your information. Name of the complainant. Este aquí va su nombre, el que se está quejando. And then the date. Your phone number, home phone number, work phone number, fax number, if you have one, street address and city, email address. And here where it says complaint information, recuérdense lo que vamos a poner acá. We mention where we got it. We mention the problem of the, of the item and what we want. Y en esta parte de acá ustedes van a poner cuando lo obtuvieron, cuál es el problema que tiene y lo que ustedes quieren. If you want the money back, a guarantee, etc. And that's it. Do you have a question about this? No sé si tienen alguna duda. Ajá. En el, en el cuerpo sería como... Todo el problema que da el objeto y qué es lo que nosotros queremos. Ajá, correcto. Ahí vamos okay. a describir la razón por la que estamos devolviéndolo o queremos devolver. Ok.
Hello. I put some ideas for you if you want to if you want to use them or if you want to have an idea. This is for you to have different options about what you want. Aquí les puse unas opciones de cómo podrían decir diferentes cosas. I would like to have the money back, que les devuelvan su dinero. Or if you need a replacement, replacement es una, otro, es otro del mismo, pero uno nuevo. Or if you want, bueno, que creo que este, el number one, number two and number three es lo mismo, solo con diferentes palabras. And number four, si ustedes quieren que se los arreglen. No quieren otro, quieren el mismo, pero que lo arreglen. So I just added options. Se los puse acá por si quieren tomar alguna idea. Okay, thank you, Tina. Mm -hmm. When you finish, you're going to read the complaint form. Cuando terminen, van a leer su, su form. Do we need to fill it out everything, the name, the date, everything on there? You or should, the, the unless you don't have the info, or you can make it up. Okay. Puede inventar, no problem. And if you are using a computer, guys, you can do it on the, on the book and then you can share the book. Si tienen computadora y lo quieren trabajar ahí, lo pueden trabajar ahí y luego muestran su documento. That could be another possibility. Nice.
Hi, everyone. Is there anybody ready to share the letter, the complaint form? No, not yet. Una pregunta. Ah, yes. Eh, tiene dos fechas. Entonces, eh, la primera fecha sería la fecha de la carta. Um, let me let me double check my my document. Yes, put the date here. Um, aha, of the letter, the date of the letter, and the one here you can put the date where you bought the item. En la de último okay. podemos poner la fecha en la que lo compramos. Okay. Y en esta no hay despida, ¿verdad? No. No, here, just the signature, solo como la firma. So here it could go like, Katia Gabriel Hernandez and your signature. That will be the, the closing part of it. Are you ready, Katia? Yo diría que sí. <laughs> Suppose. Uh -huh. Okay, can you read your form, please? Um, Y lo leo todo, ¿verdad? Todos los nombres y todo. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ok. Name of complement. Tati Hernández. Date. Uh, <ríe> se me olvidó la fecha. <ríe> September 13th. September 13th. Home phone number. Uh, yes, te lo digo, solo los números. Oh. Mm -hmm. Usually when you say uh, phone numbers or cell phone numbers, zero, usually or commonly people say, oh, 50377. Seven. You can say zero, but some people also say, oh. Algunos dicen zero, okay. pero es bastante utilizado, oh. Okay, sería two two nine one o four o nine work phone number seven seven eight eight nine nine three three. Okay. Fax number two two four five one. Um. Uh, uh, no, no, I have to put it Ah, okay. Uh, right. Solo puse soy a Pango y Siri San Salvador. Mm -hmm. That's good enough. Email, email address Katia uh, Hernandez arroba gmail punto com. <laughs> okay. Complaint information describe the nature of complaining. Identify the equ equipment in the question and the problem. Uh, the screen is broken and doesn't turn on. I would like to know if he has repaired and how long it would take. And, and they put a Hmm? September. Primero el mes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. September 5th, 29. Ajá, uh -huh. the 5th. Or September 5th. Okay. okay. All right, Katia, thank you for sharing your, your form. <laughs> Let's see, Alberto, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to yeah. say the parts and you read the information. Name of complainant. 
es Nelson Aguirre. Date. Date, September eh, 3rd. Ok, home phone number. The home phone number is 2221-3141. Work phone number. Sorry, uh, eh, phone number is eh, 7120. 2122. Okay. Fax number? I don't have. Okay. Street address? You can be back. Eh, Puede ser un poco eh, back. Street, street address, Bolívar del Ejército. Eh, how do you say kilometer? Kilometer. Kilometer, I'm sorry. Bolívar del Ejército, kilometer 6, Serpango, eh, City San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Email eh, is a visa. Eh, at visit.com. Okay, complain. Describe your complaint. I I would like I would like to have a replacement replacement because it's faulty. Or I would like mm -hmm. yes, to have the money back. Does not do the but does not do the what the fashion function that the seller told me. Ah, okay. It doesn't doesn't have the function the seller told you. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. And then the date. And you the got date is September 2nd. September 2nd. It's a new item. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Alberto. I appreciate it. Can you continue, Rene? Are you ready? I just finished. Okay, do you want to share the screen or how uh, did you do it? It's the thing is that I met half of it on my, on mm. my notebook and have that on, on, the, on the computer. Okay, so, so I'll read the parts and you give me the info. Name of the sure. complainant. Okay, uh, name of the complainant is Rene Guardado. Date. Uh, the date is... January 2nd. Mm -hmm. All right, the num phone number is 777777. Uh, word phone number is 55555. Mm -hmm. Fax number 503. Uh -huh. uh, the address is Jardines de la Libertad in Merliot. And mm -hmm. the city is Merliot City. Mm -hmm. um, the email address is re.guardado759 at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And well, let me like read Complaint that. information. Uh, yeah. Um, back on December 25th, uh, I bought a smart TV through your website. I set up the TV on my living room, and the first week was working just fine. But after that, we noticed that the TV was dropping the Wi Fi signal. It won't connect. It won't connect to the router, so we plug it a wire internet cable. But the problem still persists. We would like to have a replacement since the unit is faulty. We hope to have an answer as soon as possible. Regards, Rene Guardado. Okay, very good, very detailed. I only have two comments that I could give you about the complaint information. When sure. you talk about websites or any platforms, use on, like on the website, instead of in or at the website. I don't know if you said in. Uh, on your website. Ah, you said uh, on. Okay, so never mind. You can disregard that. And persist. <laughs> That's the, the past Persiste. form of the pronunciation, persisted. ED and the end, persisted. ED ending, uh-huh. If you okay. want to say it in present tense, it persists with the S. Past with tense persists. Mm -hmm. okay. But I think you wanted to say it in the, in the past form, right? In the, in the past, right. Okay, That's so right. persisted. Just that. Persisted. Okay, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Can you continue, Maricela? Do you have your info? Mm, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, okay. 
tengo. We start eh, with name, ajá, name of complainant. My complaint, Maricela Velasquez. Date. Date. September 13. Okay, Hong Kong number. 2021 sería. 2021. Or 2021. Yes. Home. Home phone number. Seven. Only one one or so, or the two or two. You can say it how you want it. It's optional. Seven, seven eight nine, perdón, seven nine eight three six five zero four. Word phone word phone number uh, twenty three sixteen setenta y uno como se dice teacher. Seventy one. Seventy one um, zero mm -hmm. zero. Mm -hmm. Fax number no I don't have. Mm, okay, no problem. Street address? Street address, um, le puse Colonia Montelmar, house number eh, 58. 58. 58. 58. City, Lourdes Colón. Mm -hmm. uh, and my address, mariasis arroba gmail punto com. Mm -hmm. And complete information. Mm -hmm. uh, le, le, le coloqué, I have a complaint with my computer laptop. Mm -hmm. I am report the problem with my computer laptop because present problem in the course signal and sometimes turn off only other time present problems. Some, some. And I would like to have to replace, re, replace the computer and oh I would like to have the money but because mm -hmm. only have three weeks on the boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a very I recent guess. item. Mm -hmm. I I understood the idea. Thank you, Maricela. When you say that on email addresses, say oh sorry. When you want to say el punto en la dirección. De, de correo um, se le llama that al punto. Entonces sería martiasis arroba gmail dot com. Y la arroba es at. At. Ajá. At y that. Y el punto. That. Ajá. D-O-T, -T, pero se dice that. Ok. Uh -huh. at. Okay, Maricela, thank you. We will listen to one, one more person and the other one, please send it to me by, by the group, by, by WhatsApp. Is there a volunteer? Vamos a escuchar uno más por el tiempo y los demás, please, me lo mandan ahí en el grupo. ¿Hay algún voluntario? Is there a volunteer who wants to read the info? Any volunteers? No. Okay, I'm going to choose the person then. Rosie, can you read yours, please? Okay. Problem. Thank you. Okay, so uh, name of complainant. And rest my land. Uh, date. September 1st, uh, 2021. Home phone number. Seven two four one two three six six. Okay, work phone number. I don't have any. I don't have any. Mm -hmm. Fax number. No. Oh, okay. Address. Street I address and city. Puse Department of San Salvador. Municip municipality. municipality municipality Sayapango Okay email address Rosy Melendez at Rosy Melendez at 23 mm -hmm. dot gmail 
Creo que así era. Uh -huh. oh. That come. That come. Mm. And complaint information. On March 14, I bought a dress of the mall. And when, when I put it on, I would like them to change it for another day, new dress or to hit me the money back. Uh -huh, or to give you the money back. Okay, Rosie, thank you. Thank you for reading your complaint form too. Okay, so Nelson, Marce, Rafa, Jani, Mario, and Rina, please send it to me on the group and I will check it out there. Oh, okay. I already checked that Rina is here. Thank you. Okay, the ones who haven't sent it, you can send it by chat. Okay, so the next part is the role play or the conversation. Ahora vamos con la conversation in which you're going to say that by phone, you're going to make a phone, home, a phone call in which you're going to report the issues you're having with something. If you want to, you can take this conversation as a model. Vamos a hacer ahora un role play que va a ser sobre eso, pero va a ser en llamada. Pueden utilizar este role play que aparece acá como un modelo, como una idea de cómo más o menos va a ir. Y pueden utilizar información de la que han escrito en su complaint form. Ok, so that is what you have to do. Alguien va a ser de tech support y el otro es el customer que llama porque tiene un complaint sobre algo que compró y no está working, de, no está funcionando. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer un role play con eso. Pueden utilizar would like to, ¿verdad? Lo podemos utilizar. Podemos utilizar lo que, la gramática que hemos estado aprendiendo en, en ese nivel. Do you have a question? ¿Tienen alguna duda? About this activity, algo que no me, no me entiendan del role play. No, no doubts. Eh, sí, si yo eh, es que me levanté a tomar agua y no le escuché. <laughs> ah, ok. Vamos a trabajar en una conversation, Jani. Y les mencionaba a sus compañeros que pueden tomar esta como una guía o como un modelo. Es una conversación sobre alguien que llama a la compañía porque tiene algún objeto que no está funcionando y es, quiere hacer uh -huh. el reclamo. Y les okay. mencionaba que pueden utilizar la información de su complaint como una idea uh -huh. también. Ajá. Uh -huh. That is okay. what we will be doing. Ok, so, Jani worked with Trina this time. And then, Marce work with René, then Mario, please work this time with Maricela, and then Alberto and Katia. Next, let me see, next we will have Rafa and Rosy. Okay, please open the room. No le puse, no lo asignó, no lo asigné. Ah, bueno, sorry. Déjeme ahorita enviarlo a un room. Lo voy a enviar entonces, Nelson, con Mario en Marisela, en room 3. 
Uy, sí, ya voy yo a llegar. Yo... Que... <risa> Sorry, ah, yo, yo pensé también. Que, ¿Cómo usted me iba a dejar? Ah. <risa> sí, yo dije, no, creo que no lo envié. Por eso me quedo aquí de último, viendo si no, no he hecho nada que no me volví a hacer. Ok. Gracias. ¿Mm? okay. que acabamos de hacer uh -huh. oh. vaya por ejemplo podemos ponerle aquí well, good morning bueno podría ser yo el el el, el texto el, como es texto por verdad uh -huh. vaya y le voy a poner good morning thank you for calling al um, ¿Al qué? ¿Al, al, al área técnico. de informática? Uh -huh. Usted sería la técnica support. Ajá. Pongámosle así, good morning. Thank you, thank you for calling to. Uh -huh. Hi, sorry to interrupt. No sé si quisieran que les ayudara en algo. Um, ahorita pues estamos comenzando todavía no? comenzando sí ah, ok y Rina ya leí el que usted mandó está bien redactado bastante bien ah ok bastante bastante bien okay. con, la con la dirección sí tuve ahí mi duda pero no encontré cómo poner si la puse. Ah, sí. pero sí este el complaint information está bastante bien So, ok, ah, sí, que como, dijo que usáramos que el, como dijo que usáramos el, el Google Like. Uh -huh. Sí, así. Y si ha hecho algo en el pelo, ¿se lo veo distinto o es el maquillaje? No sé. A ver. Pues medio me lo aplancheo y quizás. Ah, eso quizás. Es. Pero se le ve bien. Se le ve bien. No, pues. Yo ando ganas de planchármelo, creo que el miércoles no voy a planchar. Ay, sí, cambia ya un poco. Ajá, le cambia la cara a uno. Sí. Ok, bueno, sí, las igual. ¿Ah? igual me maquillé un poquito. ¿verdad? Sí, también. Me queda bien. Gracias. Vaya, pues Gracias. lo voy a dejar entonces ahí para que puedan terminar de hacerlo. Cualquier cosa Gracias, ahí me, me okay, llama. Sí, ok, sí, okay. ok. Which problem the unit has? Entonces, refiriéndote a, preguntando cuál es el problema que, que tiene. Which the problem with, with that? Eh, sería, eh, I'm sorry to hear that. And can you please uh, tell me which is the problem? Which is the problem? Tell me here which is the problem. Oh, okay. Which is the, which is the problem, or what's the problem that you have? So I'm at root. Let me hear what is the problem. Let me hear what's the problem. Okay. Entonces ahí ya solo te explico yo. Explicando el, el problema. Um, si lo queremos hacer un poco alargado, podemos hacer de que tú me preguntes si ya intenté alguna cosa o, por ejemplo, al, al, algo para tratar de fix the problem. Si no, ya directamente podemos, eh, te puedo decir que, que me gustaría tener un reemplazo y tú YouTube me, me, me das la opción de, de, de mandar a alguien para que me hagan el reemplazo de la unidad. Eh, que en ese caso sería... I would like to have a replacement. So, how can you say it? Okay, I understand. Let me go ahead and send you someone to get that. No, let me go ahead and get one. Blah. Okay, I understand. 
traducido, algo así. Ajá, sí. Sí, eso es. Bye. Hi. Uh, sorry to Hi, interrupt. Chair. Is there something I can help you with? Aquí estamos batallando. Aquí estamos inventando. Ajá, <laughs> diálogo, okay. Pueden, ajá, pueden ayudarse con el, con el que sale en el libro, si quieren uh -huh. tener ideas, ajá, también pueden. Ahí nos estamos apoyando. Ah, ok. okay. Ajá. Y ya leí el, el complaint form, Rafa, and it's, it's ok, it's good. Ah, ok. <laughs> Thank you. Ya vi que lo hizo con la computer. Sí. <laughs> ok, me voy a quedar acá un ratito y okay. luego en marcha. But okay. you can continue. Okay. Vaya, Rosy. Va, entonces sería, bueno, como aquí en la primera parte de una vez me puso, me hizo la descripción del problema. Ajá. Ahora me tiene que ayudar. Uh -huh. Sería, tengo que darle la solución, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ahí le podríamos poner si le gustaría llevarlo a a soporte uh -huh. técnico sí yo me podría podría decir que va a llenar el, el formulario y, y qué deseo o qué, qué le estoy o qué quiero yo que, uh -huh. que, que me resuelva vaya pero me lo vamos a traducir siento sería siento escuchar eso Entre los dos tenemos tres mamá y yo, no, 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 que me gustaría llenar el formulario de la queja y pasarlo. Y dasen va. Y dasen su recepción de llamada, ¿cómo sería? No presenta. Y dasen. Ah, sí, dasen. No signal. No signal. No signal. No signal. For call. Signal. No tiene señal para llamar. For the call. Mm -hmm. For the call. How are you doing? Todavía no han terminado, ¿verdad? No, a medio. No. bueno. Okay, that's the attitude. Is there something I can help you with? No sé si quieren que les ayude en algo. Más mm. tiempo. Vaya. <laughs> Voy a ver ahorita cómo hago eso. Creo que algunos ya terminaron. Entonces, quizás uno dos minutos más puedo darles por la hora, ¿verdad? Si no, les, si pudiera, les pudiera más. Ok, okay entonces okay. no los distraigo. Los voy a dejar que sigan. Les envío ahí la notification en unos dos minutos. Ok, okay see you okay. later. Hi guys, welcome back. Have you finished? Me imagino que ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> no. So, so. So, so. ¿Y cuánto les faltaba? Uh, terminando las despedidas está. <laughs> Ah, ok. Bueno, ahorita aún no vuelven los demás. Si quieren los dejo, tal vez logran poner la conclusión. Ok. Hola. 
aquí estoy ya. Ok, cuando usted y yo le digo, well, Miss Katia, could, eh, could you to go to the store? Y usted me dice, uh, Yes, I will be there right away. Ok, Ahí Miss termino. Katia, it's a pleasure. See you soon. See you soon. Okay. Hoy sí. Okay. All right. So, welcome back. I, I brought... Uh -huh. Yes, Albert. I have a question. For example, eh, aquí cuando yo le digo, podría lo que es ir a la tienda, eh, yo le puedo decir, eh, could you to go to the store? Could you go to the store? Yes. Because Una pregunta. Because right? Yes. Ok, vaya. Ah. Sí, sí puede ir. Ajá. Uh -huh. Could you go to the could store? Could you to the store? For Because school is the same camp, the bird camp. Mm -hmm. Mañana vamos a ver esos dos, por cierto. Cool and, and camp. Mm -hmm. okay. Son un poquito distintos. But yes, mm -hmm. podríamos utilizar could. Okay, Katia and Alberto, since you're already finished, can you, can you please present your conversation? Okay. okay. Hello, good morning. Thank you for calling me. I can help you. Hello, my name is Katia Hernandez. I need to file a complaint about my phone signal. It's a pleasure, Miss Katia. It's okay. Describe your problem, please. It's very slow and I know and not connect internet. The internet. I, I understand. You can turn on your cell phone and then turn on again, please. Okay, I will do that. Give me a moment, please. No, oh, my. no working <laughs> yet. <laughs> It's no, not Miss working Katia. Yet. <laughs> well, Miss Katia, I called you to go to the store. Yes, uh, I'll be there right away. Okay, Miss Katia, it's a pleasure. See you soon. Okay, thank okay. you, Katia, and thank Te you. Te la puse en línea. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just one comment, Alberto. When you use Miss or Mrs., you need to use the surname or the last name. She is Miss. Miss Hernandez would be the... The way ah, to Mrs. say it. Uh, it's mm. a Mrs. Katia. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I understand. Uh, okay, good. Just that comment. So, Rene and Marce, can you continue, please? Sure. Thank you for calling the customer care department. My name is Marcela. How can I help you? Hi, Marcela. My name is Rene. I just bought to you guys uh, smart to be the last month um, the problem that we want that we have is that is dropping the wi-fi signal on the tv uh, we are really trying to restart the tv and also plug it in directly with a wire cable but it seems that the problem is still persisted uh, we would like to get a replacement since the unit is faulty Me perdí. Mm -hmm. He mentioned the problem. Uh, ajá. Recuerda que eh, el replacement. Es que no le dije what is the problem. <laughs> ah, yeah. I got it. You're right. I started to explain the problem instead of just saying that, that mm. it wouldn't, was not working. So. That right. I mean, Okay, I, I understand. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me send a replacement for you. You will receive it in two days. In two days. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Marcel. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Marcel. And thank you, Rene. It was very good. Okay, very good conversation. Rina and Jani, can you continue, please? Hola. Rina. Rina, do you hear us? Nos escucha, Rina. 
Ah, okay. Hola, hola, sorry. Ajá. Can okay. you continue? Sí. Ahorita sería la, nosotros la llamada. Good morning. Thank you calling to Tech Support. How can I help you? Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. The, uh, the problem is Sony Television What about online will day September 1st number order to one three one one five two one the problem the problem will to be if overhead is turned off okay at this moment I am taking the order of your claim and I, what way would you like the problem to be solved? Would like, would like, would you like it, it to be changed for a new one, or would you like it to be? I I would like to have a re replacement. Well. Well, I replace it will be same to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Rina. And thank you, Jenny. Because of the time, I'll give you feedback tomorrow. Por el tiempo, yo les doy más feedback mañana, okay? Let's continue with Mario, Maricela, and Nelson. Okay. okay. Inicia Mario. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Mario of the Sales Department. Thanks for calling. How can hello. I help you? Hello, my name is Maricela. I have a complaint with my cell phone. Okay, very well. I assume you to the support te technician so that he can give you a uh, solution to your problem. Very good. Hello, uh, Maricela. I'm sorry for the problem. Um, one moment, um, uh, checking your case. Uh, Uh, hello, Nelson. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, my my complaint is about my phone and uh, no signal for the call, and I would like to replace this. Sorry, sorry uh, for for the problem uh, that is happening on on your phone. Uh, we will have and answer tomorrow. Mm, okay, perfect, thanks. Okay, thank you, Maricela, Nelson, and Mario. I appreciate it. And then we continue with Rosy and Rafa. Okay. Thank you for calling the word computer. My name is Rosy. Hello, my name is Rafael, and I bought a computer on the website of your company, but I have a problem when to start computer. The screen does not give an image. I'm sorry to hear that. One moment, please. I am filling in the complaint form. What would you like to send a new computer? Yes, I would like sending to me as soon as possible. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Rosie, and thank you, Rafa. It was good too. I'll give you some feedback, guys, tomorrow because it's almost time to go. I'm going to continue in this moment with the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance. And by the way, um, today, if any of you wants to stay with the private session, in the private session, you can. Les voy a dar ahí un momento para que piensen si se quieren quedar. 
Y luego me dicen si hay alguien. Ok, so we start with Daisy Mezquita. Uh, Iris Joana. Jennifer Marcela. Present. José Mario. Present. Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Lisette del Carmen. Marisela del Carmen. Present. Nehemías Regalo. Nelson Alberto. Present. Nelson René. Thank you. Rafael Present. Antonio. Thank you. Present. Rina Espinosa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rosy Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio. Yanira Lisette. Present. Thank you. Enzulma López. ¿Se me habrá quedado alguien? ¿Habrá alguien que no dije? Sí. No dije René. Ok, no. so René. Guardado. Okay, thank you. So, is there anybody who would like to stay? ¿Hay, hay alguien que se quisiera quedar ahora? No. Okay, no problem. So, well, nice to see you. Recuerden, solo faltan dos días. Espero que no falten mañana. Y recuerden lo de su encuesta. Aunque la reciban, todavía no la completen. Please, porque la vamos a completar acá en cierto momento de la clase, así que porfa no se me adelante, tenemos que hacerla acá. Bye bye everyone, sweet dreams, please rest, take care, see you, bye bye, bye. bye. good night, good night, see you bye. tomorrow, bye Rene, bye, bye, bye. bye Marisela, bye teacher, bye.